Hello everybody, I'm Dark Mario Luigi, and welcome back to another exciting episode of 4, my Let's Play for Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we finally took down Duplis once and for all, and now we are finished with Chapter 4, and we're actually going to put the Crystal Star back in its place and figure out where the next Crystal Star is once again. Alrighty then. Uh oh, oh my goodness, Mario! Would that be an email from email from Princess Peach? Possibly. My dear Mario, I have finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The Exnots plan to revive this this thousand-year-old monster, and we use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can often so they can open this thousand-year door. They'll find this demon spirit. But the only thing that can keep it locked away in the, is the Crystal Stars themselves. You must not let them get the Crystal Stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans. Princess Peach. An ancient demon spirit? Oh no. That's definitely not good. Alright. Um. No! Are you serious? I can't believe. I did that! Ugh. Running away. Right, I'm gonna have to use a, another in coupon if I have one, or waste five rupees just to get healed. Alright, whatever. Let's just head this way then. Let's see if there's any badges in that, that I can buy actually. Um. Nah, no thanks. Those badges are pointless. Alright. Actually, let's, uh, let's upgrade some of our party members here. And the only party member I can upgrade is Vivian, so, yeah, let's do it. Shazubi! Shazubi! Alright. Then you may go. All right. So now she got some. Now she got some more. Some more HP, which is pretty cool. I like that quite a lot. Okay. Now let's go down this pipe here. Oh wait, we gotta go down this pipe. Don't go that way. I sometimes forget where I need to go. That's not always good. There we go. And we are here finally. It's about time. So where is this next crystal star now? It's apparently on an island.
The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. We better hurry, don't you think? We sh should go up to the professor's office. We have to let him know about the princess's email. Oh yeah. Yes, we do. That's quite a big predicament. Whoa, whoa, what? So that was written in Pe Princess Peach's email. This legendary treasure is, is actually the spirit of, a, of an ancient demon. And those fiends who want to use the power of the crystal stars to re resurrect it. How bone chilly! Chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. What have you found out, Professor? Hmm, this is rather long, so you best listen up well. Are all of you ready? Are, and you there, in front of the TV! You listen up too! Um, I, hello, I am listening. Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Oh, never you mind! Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen! The great cataclysm that I read about in that book may well refer to this demon. It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood in on this very area. It also says that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And that this thing we used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its, its spear cannot be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal star which they had stolen from the demon. And they cast the evil beast into the depths of the vast maze and sealed the exit. From this I gather that the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that those who wield the crystal stars determine if they're used for evil or good. I guess, we, I guess we ought to consider not collecting the crystal stars then. It would be awful if we found them all, only to have them stolen for evil purposes. Does anyone think it might just be better to destroy them once and for all? That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. It seems the Crystal Stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sh sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousand th thousandth year. Bad luck, huh? The fact that those goons went to the stars no, no, may be coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demons to return even if the x knots fail. Oh, I guess we'd better find the rest of the crystal stars then, huh? Where did we where do we start? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keyhaw Key. Keyhaw Key. I'm not too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory unsavor rumors. You know the usual stuff. Vengeful spirits are full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the seal salts down there by the harbor harbor no more. You should head there first. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we actually have to head to the end first and foremost. Alright, let's get in there. Oh, hey, there's Luigi and some uh, spiny thing. But I'm first of all, uh, I'm gonna rest a little bit. Yeah, of course I don't have a in coupon. Oh well, five rupees, five coins isn't that much. Why did I say rupees? I'm so stupid. Yeah, I did. No, no, I do not. I seriously do not want to sleep again. Let's talk to Luigi here. See what I was doing. When I headed to Circuit Break Island and got me a marvelous compass beat. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, cheers, and spirits. It was a pretty, it was pretty nuts, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Sure. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you wanna hear, bro? Uh, Circuit Break Island. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible rocket. We soon found out that they hold cart races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule that the island is king for that day. 
Just as we got to that Jay Waste track, they were holding the award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes right there on the trophy they give to the rip winner. It wasn't at the beast of the marvelous compass. I almost passed that away. I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was to enter that next race. I mean, I've driven again a car races before, so I thought it'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The cars were supercharged machines that could send you airborne with their exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get right out there, pronto. These drivers were crazed. But I woke up uh, my courage and signed it up anyways, and my race day finally came. I got one of the best cars, a big green o o one. I took my position at the start line. The lights went green. I stopped the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse. The big green o one was rocketing backwards with me yelling. I crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut me off mid-scream. In one fell swoop, I dropped into last, into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news of the other car to crash because of my maneuver. Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took the beat off my trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me towards Jazzafra's town in the east. Then I heard that voice. Princess Eclair's voice echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess. Random words come from for what form poetry have spoken by my, by your voice? I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Brenda Ziegler! Oh, sorry about that, bro. I'm um, so happy that I got back in my boat and came back here to Rockport, and that's what I'm. What's been up with me? All right, pretty uh, interesting so far. You wanna hear what I've been up to? Just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Uh, sure. Who's this guy? Yeah, I'm Tork, and I don't for a second think that Stu's telling the whole story. The only reason I let him, I let him. My rig was cause he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it. Idiot! I'm not letting this dip out of my side until he repays me for the 5,000 5, coins repair costs. Oh, okay. Uh, who's this guy? And what do you want, ah? Uh? Who me you ask about? Oh, I'm Carl Flavio. I'm, how you say, a trader. The richest man in Rollport. Money, monetary wealth gives me freedom. Yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchanged must always long for yet more, ah? Huh? What is missing from my life? This tears at my very insides, I must know. What do I like? Ah, uh, romance, definitely. Romance, you say? Ah, I suppose one does need some romance in life. What other sweet and delectable fruit can make so many wonderful pasta sauces? Ah, no! Food is Fabio! Not the romance, you silly man. What I need is romance! Wait! Hold the horses! That is it! Now that I am thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortes, the Pirate King! Yes, this is the answer! Oh, such happiness for me! A hunt for a private, private treasure! Why, that just freaks of romance and thrills and emotion, emotion and even money! Do you not know the tale of the Pirate King's treasure hidden on Key Harpy? I will tell say that the Pirate King Cortes is it is horde of pirate booty there! For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes me my back tingled. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. Eek! It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to the Kihaki. But that would not stop Flavio. That treasure is there, yes, and I'm going to prove it. Farm Flavio, treasure extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. What is it that you are saying? You are also looking for a treasure here in Rollport? Oh. Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this armpit of a town. You cannot be believing each, each stupid rumor about Trevor, treasure some street urchin can spruce out. No, 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 no! Now what the man just comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Well, well, head it over. Rather, I mean, show me! You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Kiyoki. You swine. You mean to steal my treasure out from under me. You awful, awful man. Well, now man, I am confused. You are looking for things known as the crystal star. Yeah. But now that I'm thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's is hard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be. Ah, stop such stuff. Flavio, what you need is a romance. There is an emotion. I cannot ignore what this business performance suggests. 
This must be must be fate at work. Ravio shall go with you to Key Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours. Yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Huh? You may re must repeat that. Ravio is our plugged. You have no ship. Ha 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 ha! You unfortunate foolish man. Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Spend it, spend it, spend it. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as an interpret leader. Yes, and you will be captain. I will take you an adventure to take my monsters. Come to the harbor right away. All right, sure, sure thing, bro. And what is that skull, red skull thing there? Kind of interesting, huh? Well, let's head straight to the harbor, like he said. All right. Oh yeah, so it is you are. Well, suddenly a slight problem, problem seems to have propped up. Popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Ravion, the queen of the countless ships in my personnel fleet. The robber just majesty of her hull. The pomp and circumstance. None can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts the very soul. Don't you agree? But she is not a, just a beauty. She is a savage and beast on the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can. Ah, yes, did you speak? Yes, 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 of course. The problems that have sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. Yes, that's for Avian. She bewitches me. Yes, well, here is the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Key Hall Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helms and men for our navigator. It is a, uh, how you say, a pickle. Oh, Flavio! Here's your darkness, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Patch. P -p Patch, you can solve a problem? Then spit it out already. Well, that's a lot of talk of a fame, no, a legendary sailor, sailor living in Rogueport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Barbary, a saucy old sea dog by all accounts. But he's said to have the helmsman touch, sir. He can make any ship battle as well. Thing is, there's a, there ain't a soul what's to see, seen him on the seas of late. Massa Boom, problem solved. Let us scout this Barbary fellow and get him on board. As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, aye. Sounds fair, sir. Good plan. Sure thing. Then it's decided. You must find this flower and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Uh, you over there sound look very familiar. Oh, please to meet you. Uh, your acquaintance, bah -ha -ha -ha. Where have I heard that bah -ha, ha ha before? We should definitely ke keep an eye on him for later. For sure. He does look kind of suspicious. But for right now, we gotta find this Bobbery here and uh, ask him to help us steer a ship. Alright, so let's go over here. Alrighty. We actually have to go switch to Sir Yosh because we have to float over this thing. Alright, did it in one shot. I have to do it again. Alright, there we go. Uh, there we go. There's a shine spray on here, so don't forget that. Definitely shouldn't forget that. Wait, hang on. And let's go through this. Come on! Oh no! Oh no, you don't! Oh, no, you don't. Get through there. Get through you. Thank you. What do you blokes want? 
You seek him, Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of the jet. Take your search elsewhere. Ah, uh, sir, you certainly do look like him. Now away with you. All right, fine. But first, there's another shine sprite here, which is pretty cool. Um, I think we need to talk. Go over here to talk to Professor Frank Frankly first. Bobbery? That old sea dogs living in the estate east side inside house right next door. They say he was a great and important sailor long ago. Hmm. You are Admiral Bobbery. You lied to me. Admiral Bobbery? I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now if you please. Please don't insult us. We already know you're the Admiral, so just admit it. Hurry up, but Poppycock, tell me what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator, and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But maybe you don't understand how important this is. We need you. With that, you will never get to Key Hall Key. Actually, awfully sorry, dear boy. But when I say no, what I mean is no. Okay. Jeez. What do you think, Mario? Nothing we say seems to be enough to convince this man. But don't you find it odd? Why would a soldier have such a hatred for the sea? We need answers. We Maybe we should ask around town about this man's story. And I know just the place. We have to go to the inn. So let's head inside here. Ah, uh, come on, no! I don't want to talk to you! We have, actually, I have to talk to this guy over here. You say Bobbery won't go to sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? <laughs> oh, is that it? I, now I see you want to mount on an expedition to Key Hall Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors will meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is that sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do. I can take it. In that case, get ready. Bobbery tells of woe goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never dr drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was pr a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill, a, vi a virus of passing cold no one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery had seen for a long time. Lonely voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. But by the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed him himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to help. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts, saying, tormented him, always haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. I can't imagine what the poor man went through. No wonder he won't sail. You know his tales now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to sea? Yes, we have no choice. Very well. I understand if you, you're that determined, then I'll give you this. You got an old letter, awesome. Oh, here, on her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You, have, you hold it in your hands. I don't know what's, what it's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself at, for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to prevent this letter, present this letter to him. I forget it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I, I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Thank you so much, Proudly. 
will deliver this letter. Don't you worry. Ready, Mario? Oh, yeah. I am ready. Alright, but I think we're gonna give this letter to Bobbery in the next episode, guys. So, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and post a comment. And if you want updates on my channel, be sure to check my Twitter. It'll be in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time for more of my Let's Play 4 Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out!